Hello everyone. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Rinda Rakutor Vuni and I will be talking about co-creating a genomics project benefit sharing plan. Results from a case study in Madagascar. Here are our disclosures. As many of you know from conducting community-based research, it is often difficult, if not impossible, to ensure that participants benefit in some way. Fortower Field has mostly rejected older models of bioextractive studies. Power imbalances in the benefits of research still exist. This is especially true for biomedical research conducted in lower and middle income countries by academics in high income countries. As academics, we often discuss benefits with participants in terms of future benefits. We say things like participating in this study will help increase knowledge or may eventually lead to a cure when practically communities' needs are often more urgent, such as food or medicine. And often our hands are tied by grant restrictions from providing anything more tangible. However, there is another model that allows us to share benefits with communities, and that is by partnering with ethically grounded industry partners. Today, I'm going to discuss a pilot that I led for a genomics collaboration between the University of Antananarivo, the American company Variant Bio, and three partner communities in Madagascar. First, I will explain our approach to community engagement and short-term benefit sharing. Then I will describe how my colleagues and I carry this out. Ultimately, I hope to show how partnering with anthropologists in the private sector presents a good opportunity to share benefits upfront with communities and local researchers, rather than giving fuzzy promises that may never materialize. In 2020, a team made up of myself and several biological anthropologists from the University of Antananarivo's Department of Anthropobiology and Sustainable Development in Madagascar form a partnership with Variant Bio, a genomics company located in Seattle, Washington, to conduct a pilot project on Madagascar's genetic diversity. Our goal was to collect health information and genetic samples from study participants to understand relationship between genetics and disease. Variant Bio committed to funding community consultation to identify meaningful ways of sharing the benefits of the project, both with our team of Malagasy researchers and the studies participating communities. Specifically, Variant Bio has built a benefit sharing program so that communities receive 10% of project budget in short-term benefits and 4% of revenue plus 4% of equity value if the company is acquired or goes public in long-term benefits. In keeping with our ethical principles of co-creation with participating communities, 
we designed the project in two parts. In the first phase, between December 2020 and February 2021, we carried out three weeks of qualitative research in three different locations across Madagascar to document suggestions, questions, and concerns about the study. We met with community leaders, key stakeholders, and ordinary citizens to explain the purpose of the project, assess local interests and study feasibility, and discuss any ideas, questions, or concerns that people might have. We also gathered input from community members about the most meaningful initiatives that Verne Bio might support as part of its benefit sharing program. For example, some community members focused on the need to improve medical facilities, while the others highlighted the need for clean drinking water or better school infrastructure. This first phase of the project served as formal community consultation process that Verent Bio undertakes in all of its studies around the world. Once we return to the University of Antananarivo, we then analyze the data from these semi-structured interviews. Specifically, we drew up a list of the five most commonly cited problems across the three locations. Lack of access to public toilets, lack of clean drinking water, lack of school infrastructure, deforestation, and the need for language training. Next, in August and September 2021, we returned to the field for the second phase of the project, this time to collect biological samples and health information from the study participants. We also surveyed study participants to collect quantitative data on preferred initiatives to support. Each study participant was presented with a list of the five key areas of unmet that we had identified during the first phase of the study. We then asked them to vote on the one they considered the most important. In total, we had 257 responses from across the three locations, and when we reviewed the answers, we found that lack of drinking water and the need of better school infrastructure received the most votes. Verent Bio then worked with our team to identify how we could practically address these issues. For example, we figured out who to hire to deliver improved access to clean drinking water in the West Coast study site and ensure that this was distributed in a timely manner that still fit within our budget. Upon the conclusion of sample collection and data entry, Verne Bio ultimately gave funds to rebuild a water pump in Tianalco village, to buy roofing materials for a new secondary school going up soon in Tianalco village, and to provide a new roof and cement for a school in Ampangilaza village. Verent Bio dedicated the rest of its short-term benefit sharing budget to improve the scientific capacity of our department. We were able to purchase DNA extraction equipment, a fridge, body measurement kits, and other lab equipment 
which will allow us to train more students in field methods and sample collection. In the end, by co-creating a short-term benefit sharing plan from the outset of our study with Verent Bio, we ensured that communities in Madagascar received tangible immediate benefits for participating in the study. Participants had a direct say in the initiatives that Verent supported, as opposed to merely being on the receiving end of top-down funding decisions. And our research capacity at the University of Antananarivo increased. There are well-established conversation about the best ways for anthropologists to engage with communities around research and the sensitivities of genomic studies. However, Rarely do these conversations touch upon sharing the benefits of genomic discoveries with participants. One way we ensure that Malagasy communities received tangible benefits was to co-design a collaboration with a company, Verent Bio, that has a benefit sharing program. Compensating partner communities through benefit sharing is one way researchers can work towards co-designing ethically grounded and culturally relevant partnership in anthropological research. This project was truly a team effort. I'd like to find my collaborators at the University of Antananarivo namely Professor Germain Jules Spiral, Dr. Sonurla Laura Veldzanar, Dr. Jean-Freddy Ranevarsour, Dr. Brigitte Rahar Vluln, and Dr. José Mahin Naranjie, as well as graduate students listed here. And my collaborators at Ferent Bio, especially Drs. Sarah Le Baron von Bayer, Erin Burke and Kaya Wasik. Thank you for your attention.